Okay, look at this monstrosity. A fraction inside a fraction. This is designed to make your brain melt during the SAT. But what if I told you that the little x is greater than 3 part is a secret message telling you exactly how to solve this in 30 seconds with zero complicated algebra? Let's decode it. All right, so your algebra teacher would want you to find a common denominator for the bottom part, combine them, and then flip the whole thing. And that's a fantastic way to make a tiny mistake and lose a point. We're going to use the SAT's own hint against it. The ultimate SAT hack. Just pick a number. Anytime a question has variables in the problem and in the answer choices, and it asks what something is equivalent to, you can usually just pick a number and cheat. Pick a number. The question says x is greater than 3. Let's pick the easiest number we can think of that's bigger than 3. How about x or core 4? Find your target value. Plug x or 4 into the original ugly expression. 1, 1, 4 ply 2, plus 1, 4 ply 3. I 1, 1, 6, plus 1, 1, 7. Now let's just solve that bottom part. To add 1, 6 and 1, 7, we need a common denominator, which is 42, 7, 42, plus 6, 42, right, or 13, 42. So the whole expression is just 1, 13, 42. When you divide by a fraction, you just flip it. Our target value is 42, a 13. The correct answer choice must give us 42, 13 when we plug in x for 4. Test the answer. Choices. Let's plug x arc 4 into our options. A, 2x plus 5, x2 plus 5x plus 6, 204 plus 5, 42 plus 5, 4 plus 6, or 8 plus 5, 16 plus 20 plus 6, or 13, 42. Nope, that's our fraction, but upside down. B, x2 plus 5x plus 6, 2x plus 5, 42 plus 5, 4 plus 6, 204 plus 5, per 16 plus 20 plus 6, 8 plus 5, for 42, 13. Bingo, that's our target. We found it. C, 2x plus 5, 2 plus 4 plus 5, per 13. Not even a fraction. Nope. D, x2 plus 5x plus 6, arc 16 plus 20 plus 6, or 42. Also, not a fraction. Nope. The answer is B. We just turned a complex algebra problem into simple arithmetic. Say T, gold, metal. Tip. The pick a number strategy is your get out of jail free card for so many algebra problems on the saint. If you see variables in the question and answers, don't do the algebra unless you have to. Just plug it in.